warm welcome to Tang Blazer Monthly Forecast. It's this, the month of September and it is the rooster month. Let's just dive right in. Before we get too far, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Kathleen Zemanski. I'm a business feng shui master astrologer and timing expert who created the Time Blazer. And be, what I would like for you to do is to like, comment, share, and ring that bell if you're listening on YouTube so that you can get all of the information that is updated quite often here at uh, Five Elements and the Time Blazer. So if you could do that, we can continue to give you this great content. So here is my business model right here, person, space, and time. And when you use the Time Blazer in this holistic system, you are really going to take your business to the absolute next best level for you. All right. The first thing that I want you to do is I would like you to download the chart of yourself as well as the people that you're sheltering in place with. And it's very important for you to know, here's one of my sample charts from my software that will be programming a personalized time blazer for you as well. And I'm going to tell you how to get a free 30 day trial, no credit card required very, very soon. So the thing that I want you to know about your natal chart, there's a lot going on on this chart here, but really all we're going to be, we're all concerned about right now is your natal chart, your year of birth. That is about your marketing. It is about how far and wide that you can expand your marketing message. So your social media, things like that, your website, how well is that performing for you? That's your year of birth. Your, your month of birth is about your career, what you're best suited at, as well as your character. So if you've noticed some changes in your character it might be because of the annual energy of the metal rat. Then we also have the day pillar that we look at. And the day is about yourself, if you will. It's a very, very important pillar that we, I really want people to uh, take a lot of focus on this year because it really is about your mindset. We've got a lot of things swirling around up here about all the changes that are happening. So your day of birth is really important for that aspect. Now, the final pillar is the hour of birth. This is about your life purpose, your legacy. It's about your goals. What are you trying to achieve and make this world a better place? Some of you may not know your hour of birth because of adoption, uh, birth records not being recorded etc. But at least you know that we've got um, the 75% of the year, month, and day. So you may want to grab your chart at freebusinessastrology.com, as well as everyone that is held up, if you will, in your household, your team, uh, find out what's going on with them. There's a lot of YouTube videos that you can refer to on my channel. Just go to 2020 Metal Rat and then put in whatever animal that you want to discover, the monkey, the dog, the pig. Just listen to those little videos in 2020 to see how well you will fare in this very tumultuous year. Okay, let's just jump right into the Time Blazer right now. We're going to be looking at two different versions. Really, it's one is the base for everyone. This is on the left-hand side of your screen. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to show you a little bit in the personalized zone, okay? So first of all, there are things that you're going to see uh, that are really general to everyone. It's green and white days, the names of the type of day there are. There's 12 different types of days, and these will start indicating things like, is it good to launch a product or service? Or is it good for removing things that I don't need anymore? So it's really critical that when you're spending time on things like launching a book, a website, a program, product, or service, this is really the strongest wheelhouse that the, that the Time Blazer provides for you, but it's also good for forging partnerships, for sending out your contracts, starting a social media campaign. This is where the Time Blazer really has its strengths and it's personalized to your birth chart. So there's very little that you really have to think about. Just keep doing the things that you're an expert at and let the Time Blazer do the work for you. Okay, there's two colors here on the on the general view, there's a green and it means that there's going to be a certain level of vibrancy that uh, that will arrive at a certain benchmark, which 
turns it into a vibrant day for you. If it doesn't, then it falls below that threshold and it's void of color. Let's go over to the personalized side and the personalized side is starting to show me a couple of things. One, it's going to show me a star system. The star system is either five, which is very high for you, or zero, which is gonna be very low in vibrancy. And it's connecting with each day has a day of the week. I'll show you that in just a second on the month view that relates to an animal in the, uh, the 12 animals of the Chinese astrology. Therefore, we're looking to see what connections the day has to your astrology chart. So it's going to say, oh, five, really good, or it's going to be uh, a lower number. And what I tell all of my successful clients to do is at the beginning of every month, what I, well, actually I have them do a big, a long uh, yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily plan, but you should be looking at your goals and knowing what you're going after. When you do that, then you can select one to two, maybe three really vibrant days of the month and then use those days, reverse engineer all of your strategies like your um, email campaigns, your webinars, things like that, and, and use these good green days to help you get the ends to the means. Then the next thing that we're going to look at are the icons. The icons are just um, we, we decided that we were going to look at what are some common business practices, sending out proposals, launching campaigns, uh, marketing, forging partnerships, whether it be short term like a JV partnership, affiliates, or a long term where you're making it a legal entity. Those kinds of things are what the, the, the icons will start describing for you. And then that will be, okay, now I'm going to select a green day with the most stars, with the most bike icons, you'll, you'll already start seeing and unfolding what this energetic calendar can do for you. All right, let's hop into just a little bit about the rooster. The rooster this year is one of the more favorable animals for a couple of reasons. One, it is it is pure metal. Even though this is a yang metal year, metal is a favorable element in 2020, as well as the rooster itself. Now, the rooster has a lot of things going for it this year, so you really want, especially if you have a rooster in your chart, but even if you don't, know that this month sort of carries this vibration as well. So one of the biggest things that I can, can reveal to you is that the, the rooster can take negatives, and boy, oh boy, we had some negatives this year, and turn them into positives. Disruption equals opportunity. If you start looking and putting your mindset, remember that's that day pillar that we want you to start thinking about really improving that mindset. So where can you find opportunity in the disruption that we've had? Number two, this also brings happiness. So if you have actually a rooster in your chart, you will actually start feeling a little bit more of the happiness in this dark, dark time. And it's also very, very good for money, especially especially when it is going towards an asset, whether that be properties or um, fine jewelry, artwork, things like that, as well as your own IP. That is an asset you can build and it doesn't take a lot of money to build some IT. It just takes this, right? Again, that mindset. Where can you find opportunity in the disruption? And it's very good for sales. The roosters are going to just be um, selling, selling very well this year. I was going to say selling, um, uh, you know, very, very easily. So that's something that if you feel that you're not any of those things and you have a rooster in your chart, start finding ways to develop that because we still have about a good four or five months left in the rat year. So you're going to want to make the best of it. And then it depends on where it shows up in your chart. If you do have a rooster, just going back to that year of your networks, month of your career, day of your mindset, and then hour about your goals. Okay, and then this is the again the what the September month looks like from the general view. But when you get your time blazer, it will have the stars and icons on it, so you know how to make your best decisions. All right, if you um, have a dragon in your chart, lucky you because the rooster is your best friend. So this is the month I really want you. If you especially have a rooster in your chart, you may have both. If you do, that means you have an internal helper 
great for you. But this is where a rooster can go out and find people that have a dragon in your chart. Remember I asked you to, to uh, find out who's sheltering in place with you. This is how you can find these things out. So a rooster and a dragon are best friends. So it could be an easier go and really ramp up those things I just talked about. Now on the challenging side of this, we also have the rooster and rabbit clash. So if you have a rabbit in your chart, then we have to take a little bit more precaution because the, the metal of the rooster is going to cut the wood of the rabbit. So it is a little bit of a clash, but I am not afraid of clashes at all. I actually created the time blazer during a clash year. So it was actually one of the best things that have ever come out of this brain, if you will. So just look at at the opportunities. Clashes are another way of looking at it. It's a disruption. Look for the opportunities. All right, now let's take a couple of uh, minutes to look at some daily views. So first of all, this is a this is a general chart that everyone would see. Once you get the time blazer, then you're gonna start seeing some personalizations within the time blazer itself. So here's just a couple of days I wanted to point out to you. So for everyone, the day is gonna be the same and then everything that you see on this daily view will be the same for everyone. So we, will have this one is a favorable open day open means opportunity so this is a day that you want to be sending out proposals doing those webinars things like that that can bring opportunities to you attend networking events things like that and then the uh and then it's a earth goat day so if you have an ox in your chart then this isn't as favorable for you because remember it's going to be a five to zero day for you so this may be one day that's not good for you or maybe it's a day that's really vibrant for you so all of the terms on the time blazer i translated from chinese to uh, to or some of the esoteric terms into standard business english while keeping intact the integrity of this very empowering calendar system. So what I want to let you know, it was done in standard business English. So it should be pretty intuitive if English is the first language for you. If it's a second language, there are guidebooks and glossaries that comes along with the uh, free trial for you to understand fully what these terms mean. But they pretty much are are pretty intuitive. Wealth is wealth. It's money, uh, mentorship, leadership, influencing, that kind of thing. Um, it's pretty clear what that is. All right. When um, you have a green day, you're going to see the times show up in um, a couple of different ways. One, when it's all positive, you are going to see the color green on the ingredients of the hours. And those will be a little bit higher resolution of green. So it pops out right away to tell you that this is a vibrant time. In, in addition to that, on a few times a month, you're going to see within the calendar where you're going to see either the time slots or the positive and negative influence. Only in the positive, you're going to see this teal box, which means quick action, it means things are going to happen very, very quickly throughout um, this two hour time slot. Now, if it shows up during the positive influences, then it's going to prevail over the entire day as that's what happens with the positive and negative influences. They look at each one of these boxes and you have to kind of blend them together, that information. So a quick way to do that, look at the day. What is the day used for? Check out those positive and negative influences and then choose your time slot during, during the day. Now we can also see kind of a mixed energy like we see between 11 and 1259. And this is going to be, um, uh, you know, where you're gonna have to start looking at, do I even wanna put up with these challenges or should I reschedule this appointment? Now you might be saying, well, Kathleen, come on. I've already got my, 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 work already planned out for you know the next week or so great and where can you be flexible remember that mindset do what you can but if you really can't then you have to deal with that that challenging energy one of the worst case scenarios is doing an important activity remember this is for launches and doing your important activities between uh 7 and eight fifty nine. you're going to see that we have um, some challenging energy there therefore you really need to take some caution on this day so this day overall it's going to be very good for relationships establishing authority if you're looking for that influencer distinction um, and 
some prosperity to go along with it, this is a great day to choose to get started with it. Here's another day, another open day. Um, so again, for opportunities, I was just looking for a couple of really vibrant days for you to use until you're able to download the Time Blazer. But this one, again, we've got some real early morning uh, times to use and then uh, from 3 to 4.59. So the real early morning times, I have always said, if you have a website, you have an international business. So what do you need to do to improve that global reach? Well, you can send out autoresponders and things like that for people to attend, you know, again, things like a webinar or a, um, you know, you might have a free lead magnet that you're going to be sending out. We'll send it out during those time slots so people in other parts of the world that are later in the day will see your posts. Okay, now it's not always choosing a, a really vibrant day. It's also avoiding those challenging ones. And here is a doozy of a challenging day. This is an unfavorable destruction day. And a destruction day I am not a huge fan of because it is quite um, difficult, if you will, the this particular energy. So it really takes things down right down to um, the ground, if you will. It's very good for, for a demolition, if you will. But even on a day like today, I wouldn't advise any of my clients to use the stay because it's unfavorable. If I'm going to do a demo, because you're triggering energy every time you take an action towards a space, whether it be driving a nail into the wall to hang a piece of artwork or construction, um, digging into the ground, you are actually now activating. Make sure you activate on a good day and not a challenging one. So this, again, the, the time blazer is really more for doing business activities, but it does have uh, feng shui implications as well. Therefore, I want you to be very careful what you do on this day when it relates to your space. But going back to from doing important activities towards your business, the 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 hours that are indicated in this more red pink color, you want to avoid those time slots because it is pure negative energy. But on a day, uh, on this particular day, 11 to 2.59, these are two hour time slots. The, this will start indicating, oh, well, here's a nice little four hour time slot that I can at least get some things done. Now let's face it. People tell me, you know, why can't every day be the same? Well, if every day was the same, why would you have an energetic calendar? It has to have the yin and the yang of, of cycles, right? So we want to make sure that you're doing the most that you can on those green vibrant days, but on the time slots where like we have this for a time, time slot, create some content. You can't be launching something every single day. You would totally burn out. And that's not the purpose of what we're trying to do. It's working smarter, not harder. Okay, well, this is a slide uh, from my annual event, but it is still pretty darn relevant today where people are filled with fear still from COVID. I live in Northern California, so we're also dealing with um, pretty currently while I'm while I'm recording this, we are dealing with a lot of fires and the fire season is going to be extended um, probably through, um, you know, our first rains, which may not happen until like November or something like that. So we are um, in, you know, we have every reason to be in fear and decision and we have every reason to start getting into clear decisions. And it's about how you behave in your actions that you take and the things that you do. So there are things that are out of your control. We cannot control, you know, mother nature and well, somewhat we probably can improve our, our habits around that as well. But what I'm saying is we're dealing with something that is out of our control right now and we're doing the best that we can to get back on track, but we need everyone to do their part as well. So when you start doing and acting as the leader that you want to be, this is where you're going to start having clear decisions as well. Again, we would love for you to comment and share um, the video that you're seeing today and let us know what's happening in your life so that we can help you as well. So I did tell you about we are offering right now a free 30 um, day trial. So go to www.free. 30timetrial.com and there's no credit card required. So what do you have to lose? If you are ready to get started to making big shifts in your life in a way that's impactful to the world, why don't you give this a try? 
The other thing that I wanted to let you know is last year at my annual event in January, I talked about the metal rat as being a very challenging year. It was a year that we were really going to start feeling the forces of of nature taking um, taking really big strides. I talked about the the super viruses wearing um, wearing masks. I talked about the spiral of the economy and and real estate, and we also talked about corruption. We've got it all here. It is so we are going to be in this. Um, crazy cycle, if you will, probably for another eight months solid. And things are, yes, going to find its way of whatever the new norm is going to be, because we don't fully have a grasp of how all humans are going to act to some of the changes that are being implemented. And, you know, we're, we're getting very used to remote working. We're getting very used to ordering things online. We're getting very used to um, doing, doing things in a very different way, which was absolutely prescribed by me at the beginning of the year. So if you would like to find out how you're gonna fare in 2021, I'm having a two day live stream event in January. It's January 16th and 17th. And if you wanna find out the feng shui, the astrology about the elements that I just described during, during the piece about the astrology, more about the feng shui, and the universal gateway, which is Qimin Dunja in Chinese, which is the very spiritual side of your, but very powerful um, to grasp how to start manifesting the things that you want. So go to bit.ly forward slash metal rat and get your early bird ticket today. All right. Have an amazing rooster month because it's a great month to get some things done and help you get back on track. So we'll see you in October. Bye-bye.